All right, we are going to change the stabilizer on the backspace here. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's pretty easy. Um, you're going to need your keycap puller and your switch removal tool. And that's pretty much it. Um, so you're going to start by removing the keycap, whichever stabilized key you want to remove. I'm going to do the backspace. So I'm going to pull it off, set it aside. You can have access to your switch then. And I'm going to just go ahead. You're going to grab the switch with either side on the top and the bottom. You'll see me here. And then you're just going to squeeze it. And there's a little latch. There's little, two little latches on the top and the bottom of the switches here. And you're basically squeezing the latch in. And then you just kind of rock it out and it'll come out. So it, the first time you do it, it'll be a little bit difficult. Uh, you know, you're getting the hang of it. You kind of got to get the latch in there. Um, but once you figure it out, it comes out pretty easy. Then you just use your same tool, the switch removal tool, the edge of it, and you just there's a little latch on the top of each of these uh, stabilizer um, housings, and so you pull them out one at a time. You push the latch down, and then you just kind of pull it out. Sometimes you have to use your finger and pull it out at the same time, uh, kind of like this. And then there's a bar that goes underneath here. You can kind of see it right there. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull, it's going to come out like this and pull both sides out and it just comes right out. And then once you get it out, everything's in one piece like this. Um, and the, if you twist the housing to the side like this and slide the bar out, there's actually two pieces in the housing. So you're going to want to pull that out if you if you want to or if you're replacing the whole stabilizer um and then when you put it back in or if you're just replacing the bars you can just kind of hold it sideways and replace the bar um or you can um you know take the whole thing apart and replace it you know the housings and the bar and whatever else but when you're putting it back in there's a uh the actual uh, insert that goes into the, let's see if I can get that to focus. It's kind of hard, but you'll see that. So there's two sides to this. There's this side, uh, which kind of looks like two holes. And then there's this side, which looks like one hole. So the side with one hole is the one that goes towards the back of the keyboard. Um, so you put your, here's the top, uh, you put your stabilizer wire in this side, like this, in the bottom. So this will go in the housing with, and then into there, and you'll see there's kind of like a little hole. You can kind of see it in there. And you just take your stabilizer wire and stick it in the bottom of the most, the bottom most hole. The top hole is just there for placeholder. You snap it down into the, the housing and that's it. That's how you replace the bar. And then you just put it back the same way you, uh, the same way you pulled it out. So you slide the bar back in. You like that. Snap them in. Take your switch. I'm replacing those with the Hako trues and bam and that's it and that's then you put your keycap back on and that's that's how it works easy peasy uh hope that helps you guys